Good day my people. This is a boy JC Gob and back with another video of one of you know Jamaica great young player. You know wonder how this kid not playing for the reggae boys. So people stick around with me, you know, and um let me go through this and watch some of the highlight of Martin Davis, a kid that and went and to Valencia and Chaya, one of the most gifted midfielder that I see that walk in Jamaican colors as a youngster. What happened to of to Martin Davis? You know, going through these highlights and look and all these skills, close control, dribbling, finishing, assists that this kid produced. You know, where is this talent? We haven't seen this kid in the national setup. What happened? Reggae boys, fans. You know, let's go through it. Watch the video with me. And ask herself, what happened to this kid? Great control. Wow, look at that pass. You know, I got a high for a pass. What happened to this talent? Does he don't want to play for Jamaica? Or just Jamaica didn't give him the chance. You know, look on that fight. Look on that close dribbling. Look, look at wow. Look at that performance right there. You know, did he refuse from playing for the national team? Because I think he can play for Canada too. But I know he represent. I know he play. He represent Jamaica in the youth level so what happened to him that's the question we're asking ourselves we look we lack of quality midfielder in Jamaica and this kid show that he's a short talent you know I I think we don't nurture our talent good enough or properly enough and I think that's our biggest downfall is we don't properly nurture the, the, the young talent you know, I think we, we, we should pay close attention to the young talent and the future of the Jamaica national team or the reggae boys of Jamaica. I think our development, development system needs to change. I think we can help these kids develop in a better way and I think that they need chances too. You know, without chances, they can develop. And I think these kids should be in a program where they can um, they can grow just like what Canada did. And look at it. Canada right now is in the World Cup. So I think that's that's our big um, biggest problem. But watching this kid right now, wow, look at that. Wow. Skills. Close control. Javelin. He's moving like he's Lionel Messi right there or Neymar. I think there's a lot of potential there. So why this kid is not in the national team or in the national setup? You know, it doesn't matter if he's playing in the lower league. You know, I'm not blaming blaming the JFF. So don't get me wrong, people. You know, it's it's probably it's probably on his side, so I'm not gonna go ahead and blow and blame the JFF. You know, I'm just asking questions here. You know, why we haven't seen this kid in the national setup? That's all I'm saying. Wow, look at that right there. This kid could be an understudy for Ravel Morrison, the way how he plays. I just think um, we're gonna have to give the JFF. They said they're making changes, and you can see a few things, you know. So let us see and see how the new coach gonna make his selection. But I think kids like these should get an um, opportunity, you know, one way or another, to be a part of the the the, um, the reggae boys team. You know, a lot of talent potential is there. Just probably need a little a little. Um, I would call it rough diamond. Probably just need a little polish on it. 
Wow, look at that. Only Lionel Messi and Neymar I see move people in that way. So that's Martin Davis, Reggae Boys fan. Wow, look at him go right there. Wow. Magnificent. Look at that play. Ooh. He's playing like he's a real midfield general. You know, like he it would be suited right now for Jamaica in the number 10 to be feeding the likes of Lionel Leon Bailey. You know, and Mikel Antonio or Shavan Nicholson. You know, you sit him right there in the 10 or in the number 8 position with the likes of Ty Tyreek McGee. With Ravel sitting deep. You know, it's defense if we're playing for, against a, a, low, a lower team that play low block. You know, I think this kid can, can do wonder if he can bring all his skills and flair. To the scene, to the senior team, you know, I think, I think he, he can, um, he can work some magic. Because we're playing like, only when we're playing like the likes of the United States and Canada and Mexico, I think that we should go with probably two old and midfielder. But when we're playing against the rest, I think we can use two eight to dominate the game, you know. And I think he can be one of the eight with Tyreek McGee. With Ravel, Maris, with Ravel sit, sit a little bit deeper, you know, and dictate with his with his wonderful s skills and, and 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 vision. Wow. But watching this right now and to see and to see how we dominate in the games, the way how we move the ball, you know, in close spaces, great skills, you know, that the only thing we can really think of you know why he's not in the national setup why he, he doesn't get a call up for the national team why we keep on crying for for talented midfielder that can use the ball you know we do have one right here you know only thing we can say why you know and the question is why would we see he get a chance under the new coach or will he choose to go probably perform and start and probably try to play for Canada you know what we will we see from Martin Davis would he be a future in the reggae boy squad or will he just will be a one that go by the wayside you know my people tell me what you think about this this wonderful magician Martin Davis you know, as I said, he can play for both Canada and Jamaica, the reggae boy. So, wow. Man, I would love to see. I would love to see him in the in the reggae boy's color. I would love to see him playing for the for the for the Jamaica national team. You know, I'm not gonna lie to you. I would love to see he get a chance. You know, let him let him let him um. Let him mess it up, but I would love to see him get a chance and to see what he what he can really do in the national team or the national program. You know, he's not very he's not that very tall, but he got skills. You know, he he seems like he's a very talented player. So, thank you guys for watching. Remember, please like, share, and subscribe to your boy GSC Garvin YouTube channel. Well, thank you guys.